The terrorist who ordered the killing of brave teen Malala Yousafzai has had his assets frozen by Britain. It means any money Molana Fazlullah has in the UK cannot be accessed and British businesses face prosecution if they deal with him. Evil Fazlullah, head of the Taliban in Pakistan, is one of the most wanted terrorists in the world. A government source said, Fazlullah's illegal activities, contacts and financial commitments spread across the world. That is why the British and U.S. governments are doing what they can to intercept any financial links or backing that could be accessed. The assets freeze follows the mirror-ass revelation that eight of the ten men Pakistan said had been jailed for attacking Malala were actually secretly acquitted. In December Fazlala had 141 people, including 132 children, slaughtered at an army school in Peshawar. Jihadi Fazlullah, who is believed to be 41, controls more than 4,000 fighters. The force at his command allowed him to run a parallel government in Pakistan's Swat Valley and impose strict Sharia law until it was retaken by the Pakistan army. He earned the nickname Radio Mullah with ranting broadcasts about sins including music, television and computers while his thugs engaged in public beheading, flogging and burning schools. Malala Yousafzai, now 17, campaigned for the right of girls to be educated. When just 14 she was shot and seriously injured by Taliban gunmen. Traded in the UK, Malala lives in Birmingham with her family. Last year she became the youngest winner of the Nobel Peace Prize. British authorities came under fire earlier this year after it emerged just six out of more than 600 British jihadists have had bank accounts frozen. In total only around 25 individuals are on the UK Treasury list. Mohammed Mwazi, a former London schoolboy who was unmasked as Jihadi John the is executioner, is one of hundreds who has escaped a freezing order.